You're watching Final Score on Fox 16. If the football season has been right around the corner, well, we've finally turned that corner. Friday Night Lights is back. Arkansas High School football officially kicking off this coming week. Later in the show, we'll break down preseason rankings class by class. But first, it's the calm before the storm in Little Rock. The Razorbacks are fixing to kick off their season in 13 days and not at Donald W. Reynolds. We went to War Memorial Stadium on Thursday to get an inside look at how staff is preparing for game day. Preparation is underway at War Memorial Stadium just 16 days away from the Razorbacks kicking off their season in Little Rock against Western Carolina. It'll be the first Hogs football game in Central Arkansas since the team faced UAPB in 2021. The stadium steps have a shiny new coat. The Razorback logo is about to be at midfield and the end zones are being painted to perfection. Or as this worker says, like doing a big coloring book all gearing up for game day on September 2nd. We're uh, getting ready for the Razorback game and preparing the field. And first time War Memorial's had the first game of the year in uh, several years, and there's a lot of excitement around. Getting the field prep, as you see here, it's kind of a long process. It'll take about a week, two weeks to get the stencils out, get everything laid out, and get the paint down. And then we do our touch-up days leading up to the game. Everything you can imagine, preparing the stadium for a large crowd, concession stands, and just making sure the concourse is clean and, and getting the grounds picked up, uh, it's a major task. Nothing brings our Kansans together like a Razorback football game. And it's always special for fans flocking from all reaches of the state to catch the Hogs play in the capital city. War Memorial has a rich history tied to the University of Arkansas. The stadium hosting over 200 Razorback games since it opened in 1948. This fall marks the stadium's 75th anniversary, adding even more meaning to the work being put on Simmons Bank Field, which will finish up next week prior to high school kickoff. We're really trying to clean her up, make sure we look good for the 75th year. The stadium means a lot to Central Arkansas, and seeing these games here in Central Arkansas is really important. And we have UAPB next year and Arkansas State the, the year following that, and we're, we're super excited about these games. The Razorback season opener isn't the only football game that'll be played on a field designed for the Hogs. War Memorial will be decked out in red for a D3 game between Birmingham Southern and McMurray on Thursday the 31st. And of course for the Salt Bowl on Saturday the 26th, making the state's biggest high school rivalry game with thousands from Saline County in attendance even cooler. The Salt Bowl coming up next weekend, Ben and Bryant rivalry. I think it's a little extra special when the, uh, when the players come out here on the field to play the Salt Bowl. Not only is it a big venue, it's a special venue, but then you also have the hog right there in the middle of the logo. That's got to be a cool feeling to be a player during the Salt Bowl to play on top of that hog. Man, it's going to be a magical September day on Markham. Head to War Memorial's website to secure your tickets and available tailgating spots. But it is August and we already have football. High school football kicks off this coming Friday night and we got a glimpse of teams in charity games throughout the week. On Friday, we had a treat on our hands in 6A as Benton hosted Little Rock Christian. Here's the highlights. <laughs> 